welcome to my channel and to my wonderful kitchen. Добро пожаловать and love dear. Today I'm going to show you how to make these mini tropical mousse cakes. They are so tasty, so delicious. They've got few steps to make them. Uh, we've got the white chocolate passion fruit ganache, we've got the tropical fruit puree and then tropical mousse and served on Genoa sponge. It's so delicious, very, very light, very diet like, you know, almost you're eating a cake and you feel like it's not a cake because it's so light and creamy and very, very fluffy. So yeah, I really, really hope you try this recipe. Um, tag me in pictures if you do make it. You can use any shape or mold that you have. And yeah, um, make sure you subscribe to my channel and um, it's completely free and I upload new videos every single week. First, we're going to make our passion fruit mini molds that we're gonna insert into our dessert. So in a large bowl, add your white chocolate together with unsalted butter. And you want to microwave that on 30 second breaks for one minute until the chocolate is completely melted. At this stage, you're going to add your grated lemon zest and lemon juice. Then mix everything together and the chocolate will react to the lemon and will start to harden. So at this point, you want to add your passion fruit puree and mix everything together quite hard until the mixture becomes nice and smooth. I am using a whisk because it makes it easier to mix everything. Then you want to add more of your passion fruit puree and mix everything one more time until the mixture becomes nice and liquid and quite easy, just like that. Now you want to take your silicone molds with half spheres and pour your passion fruit ganache into the silicone molds and then place it into the freezer until they're completely frozen. Next, we're going to make our caramelized pecans. So in a hot pan, add your pecans. You can use other nuts if you want, but I do prefer pecans. Then add sugar. And we're just gonna leave it for a few minutes until it starts to melt. So just mix it a little bit and then you will see the sugar starts to caramelize pretty quickly. At this point, you want to mix everything together quite fast and you don't want to burn your nuts. So as soon as you start to see the golden color, you want to take them off the heat and place them in a different bowl to cool down completely. You will see that they have nice and brown golden color just like that. And then we're going to place them into a piping bag or a Ziploc bag and smash it with a rolling pin. Now we're going to make our tropical puree. So in a bowl, add your tropical fruits. I'm using frozen tropical fruits. I've got mango, papaya and pineapple in here. So add them all into a small pot and then add your sugar. And we're going to cook this on a low heat for about five to 10 minutes, depending on how quickly it defrosts and also how quickly the sugar will dissolve. So move everything around and then you will see the color will start to change and looks absolutely beautiful and very colorful. At this stage, you want to take out about 50 grams of mango or any other fruit. I prefer mango as it's harder. And just place it into a separate bowl. It's about five to six pieces or so. You don't have to do this either, by the way. Then the rest of the mixture goes into the blender and we're going to puree this on high speed until you get nice tropical puree. It's going to look just like that. We're going to divide the puree, one for our uh, mousse and one for our inserts. So just divide it, I'll leave all the measurements on my website. The pieces of fruit that we've set aside, we want to cut them up into nice tiny squares. So it's kind of like a bite-sized piece, so it's nice, to, nice and easy to eat it. And then I'm also adding a passion fruit. So I'm using one passion fruit and then taking all the seeds and putting them as well. So then add all your chopped fruits with passion fruit into your fruit puree and then add your corn flour. We're going to mix everything together and we're going to cook this on low heat until the mixture starts to thicken up. We want the mixture to be nice and thick, not too thick though, and not too thin, so it kind of still falls off the spoon. Then place your tropical puree into your molds 
and make sure they're nice and filled to the top and you evenly distribute the fruit and passion fruit mixture into each sort of mold so you have that in every single bite. We're going to place this into the freezer until they are completely set. Next we're going to make our tropical mousse and to do that we're going to soak our gelatin leaves in cold water and then take our puree, place it into a pan and we want to warm this up on the stove for a few minutes and when the gelatin is ready we're going to add that into our pan and mix it together until the gelatin is completely melted. You want to make sure that the mixture has cooled down as well. Now to make the cream add your double or heavy cream into a small pot and whisk it until soft peaks. Don't over mix it as we don't want it very hard and it will be difficult to mix together. Now in a different bowl we're going to add our whipped cream and then you're going to add your tropical puree with gelatin and mix everything with your whisk. You want to add a little bit at a time and be very very gentle and just keep mixing until all the mixture is done. Don't rush to put the whole puree into the, into the cream because it might split. Once that's done, I'm adding also a bit of orange food coloring and some tropical mix essence. It's completely optional and you don't have to do that. I do like that it becomes a more yellow color and represents the tropical fruits, that's why I'm doing it. Now we're going to place this into a piping bag, so set it over something stable and then pour your mixture in. I'm using piping bag because it's much easier to pipe these desserts, otherwise it's not possible to fill them up. So it's going to look just like that. Guys and girls, I have my recipe on my website at aliceyummyfood.com. You'll find full ingredients and also directions on how to make this. And also you'll be able to find loads of other recipes that I do for my channel. Uh, just click through, click on the picture and you'll be able to see the whole video with the directions and the full recipe in English and Russian languages. Now take your molds, these are really cute sort of, <laughs> I'm not sure what shape that is but they've got little little buttons under as well and so we're gonna shape them up. So we're gonna pour the mixture in halfway through into each silicone mold. So just keep adding that and then we're gonna take our mini spheres from the freezer and here I've got my passion fruit ganache ones. I had to put them as separate and the mango pureed one. So we're going to combine these two together into a nice sphere. So just kind of glue them together with your hands, press them down and then put that inside into your mousse. So once that's nice inside, you want to put more mousse around and make sure it's completely filled to the top. Do that with the rest of your desserts and then at the very bottom we're going to add caramelized pecans and then the mixture goes into the freezer until it's completely set. I am using a Genoa sponge, you feel free to use any other sponge cakes that you like and I'm cutting nice rings to put my desserts on top. So I've measured the ring onto my dessert and just cut it out from your sponge cake, take it off and we have a nice beautiful vanilla sponge. And then once your desserts have completely set, you want to take them out from the mold. So kind of move it about and then take it out. And look how cute the shape is, absolutely adorable. Now I'm gonna velour them, but you can do a mirror glaze as well. So I'm spraying it with some yellow and then red colors. I was experimenting and trying different techniques and that's how they look. So I've also placed a large sort of toothpick so I can lift them up once they're done and place them onto the sponge. You want to do that so you don't have sort of your fingerprints everywhere. So I'm spraying different colors and I wanted to make them look very, very beautiful and colorful. So they're still frozen. They look like this. You need to value them when they're frozen and then place that onto your sponge cake and decorate as you like. I'm adding white chocolate and some edible flowers and there we go guys, they're done. Tropical mousse cakes, they're so pretty, so beautiful. 
let's have a look how it looks inside the moment we've been waiting for so it goes through really really easily so you need to leave them to defrost and then look at that inside you have all these beautiful layers vanilla sponge caramelized pecans passion fruit ganache mixed tropical fruit puree and tropical mousse absolutely amazing